boy. Oh boy, here we are. What's up, you guys? Welcome to... There's a wolf right there. There's a place right there. There's a vulture right there. Okay, welcome. We're, we're in trouble. We could be in trouble already. We just came into the world. There's a factory over there. Alpha 16. Seven days to die. Experimental build 113. Now, I'm going to tell you guys... That vulture just tried to tried to attack me. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Wow, dude. Okay, there's some. It's definitely experimental. Okay, it was running pretty good on their first experimental release. They did some bug fixes and did some major breakage of the game. Let me tell you, this is my fourth. I repeat, fourth restart trying to start this series up on day one. First time, day one. I fell through the world and died. I like I just died. I was like, okay. So I restarted. Did it again. My third time, just five minutes ago, before I threw the computer out in the street, um, I got all the way through to where it said locate the trader, and it was pretty close. It was like I don't know, maybe as close as that tower looking thing over there. And then when I got there, the trader was invisible. It was invisible, so I couldn't see it. Ah, shoot. Ear, 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 ear. Ear. Okay. All right, it's bedroll. Let's start making, let's go into the tutorial. I got the difficulty up as usual. Should be pretty, pretty challenging. There's something in the mountain up there. Looks like it could be a tent city or something. Anyway, so this is my fourth attempt. Hopefully everything's working okay. Um, yeah, there's some... Guns and I are actually playing on a server, and it's... I'm not seeing any of those bugs on there, so it might be a single-player thingy. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, so... But we're going to go through. I want to play. I want to play, you know? Did I just hear that dog again? There's a road right here. There's a lot of stuff around here. There's that thing over there. There's something up there. There's a town, like literally a town right there. This looks like it could be the start of a good world if I can get through the first couple of minutes of it. What does it want me to make? Stone axe, stone axe, stone axe, stone axe, stone axe. Whoop. Probably don't have enough stuff to make it, do I? No, I don't. Yeah, I need more boulders. That's why it wasn't on the top of my list. I was going to... It's weird. It, it's... it's kind of, Hit the like buto for me, guys. For my frustrations of getting to this point. Hit that like buto, please. Um, I kind of went through and I explained... I have no wood. Okay, I have no wood. That's what it is. No wood for me to... No wood for me. To. I went through and I explained the stuff twice, and then I fell through the world. So hopefully I can remember what I was talking about. Um, so, you know, a lot of things have changed. I think that I will try and get through this first part. I did such a decent job of it before <laughs> the first four, three times. There we go. So a lot of things have changed. Um, you know, a lot of things now, you have to buy the skills. That guy literally just spawned right there. He just spawned right there. Okay, so if you're playing, you're going to have to deal with some weird bugs like that. They, the zombies do spawn on you now. Like, I don't think they're supposed to. I don't think they're supposed to. Three seconds. Three seconds, please. Okay, I need some. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. Water, food, torch, stone axe. Okay, let's get some. Uh... Okay, so before, you know, I had I had talked about um, getting geared up, getting a lot of resources for night one, and building all kinds of uh, arrows and building all kinds of these stone axes. That's can't do that anymore. Now you have to increase your weapon 
and your tools via skill points. Right here, weaponsmithing, toolsmithing, these two right here. So, it's also dictated by your player level. So you have to be at a certain player level before you can uh, go on. Like, I, as soon as I get three skill points, <clears throat> I could actually purchase one of those. But then, to get to level two, I'll need my player level to be up to a certain, you know, so it, it has to scale with that. As soon as we, we get through this part here, I have no feathers yet. As soon as we get through this part here, we'll um, move into one of these towns or something. This is super dangerous already, man. It's pretty cool. I like it. I don't like the, the bugaboos. Like I said, I thought I thought it was running pretty good before they did the bug fixes, but that's that's all part of development, you know? It's... Some people might be real loud and real active and boisterous saying this, this, this. And actually, it's it's only like on their system because their system sucks or something. And it's not really a, a game-breaking bug. I don't think they would address address that if it wasn't like widely reported. But still, I'm, I'm look, I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm actually looking for a... Just getting some of those for some uh, stamina. These are good for a little bit of food. That guy's real close to me, isn't he? A little bit of food, but as you're running, like from a dog or something. My stamina just now ran out. There we go. Perfect timing. So it gives you a little stamina boost, which I like. Come on, where's all the bird's nests at, man? Bird's nest. There we go. There we go. I will go through this stuff, you guys. Right now, it's like I've spawned in a nice area because I can see a lot of stuff. But also, I've spawned in a dangerous area with a vulture and at least one, maybe two wolves trying to eat my face. And the other thing I've noticed in here in the single player is the heat. I think there's something... I, was that the dire wolf again? Something's broken with the heat. I don't get, I don't get it on our multiplayer server, but in here, I was overheating in the desert, so... Craft a bow. Come on. What the? What the lag, dude? Wow. <laughs> it's weird because it was, it was everything was working so good. Now it's like not so good. I what they? What did they fix? What did they fix that like? See, that's all I wanted to try and click on that to do this and that that's all i wanted to do this dude is like seriously not gonna leave me alone is he? he's like look man you brought down the thunder now you got it this wooden club is so weak sauce weak sauce for you zombie there you go how you like that son oh perfect got some wood Snake! Snake! Okay, now you know there's snakes in the game. Oh, rip the tree. I'm thinking that's... Is that... Oh, that's a nice town there, though. Snakes in the game, man. <laughs> Why me? Hello. What the news, dude? Wow, there's... It's a little buggy. So another snake. Okay. <laughs> snake there. Snake there. Now I'm out of wood because I'm an idiot. All right. Let's see if we can go over here without getting bit by a snake. Wow. I think maybe I should just not play. I was like, I waited a whole week and it like worked better the day of release than it does now. And I, like after four starts, I'm, I'm a little flustered, just a little bit, a little bit flustered. And some weird things are happening right now. Like those snakes spawning on both sides of me like that. It's like I left it and then it spawned in front of me. Then same thing with like the, the wolf. Now that could be like, it could be built into the game. I don't know. They may have done that. Just not sure. I decided to do the, the webcam, too. Um, I didn't know if you guys like it or not. I wasn't 100% sure. I did it on Prey. Thought it was pretty fun. Um, let me 
necessarily gonna do it on every single one, but it's kind of a kind of a neat thing. I haven't really done it on here before. All right, we need two more now. There we go. Okay, we get. Oh, nice, meaty. Walk right there. Where was that? There's that snake right there. He's still chilling. Keep that snake away from me. The little bit weird too on upgrading things like up here you can hit it down here on the ground you have to like aim at the edge of it weird really weird really weird that is such a good looking town though is it not and plus that thing over there i don't think that's a trader that could be the trader that looks like a tent city we're gonna find out right now because once we put this thing down i hear sounds everywhere Stupid snake. Give me a shotgun. That's the way you do with snakes. Shotguns. That's it. That is the trader right there. Okay, it's 12 noon. We don't need to go to the trader right now. We'll go later. What I what I really need to do is is actually. That looks like it's in the green too, which is gonna be better for heat for us. Um I need to make a couple. These let's go ahead and make two of those we get a little bit of wait could does corn on the cob require water hmm if corn on the cob requires water actually we might get lucky with water i guess i'll just grab some of this corn and pass up food when you have a chance and then you're like <sighs> later on get some more chrysanthemums make some uh make some red tea for cooling that would be good because right now, I mean, it's 90 right now, but I experienced 125, like, it was, like, it was uh, possibly bugged out. I'm not sure. We'll find out. So I, I'm pretty sure that that thing right there, look at this. Yeah, that is it. That is it. It's right there. That's crazy spawn, right? So the, one of the big things that they added was the, the ability at a distance to see buildings. Remember we couldn't see buildings at a distance before? We could always see like the layout of the town and stuff like that. Couldn't see the buildings. Now you can. And you're like, well, what's the big deal about that? The big deal is, look at that. You would have never seen that building before. Now you can look and say, hey, you know, there's something there. There's something there. There's something over there. That's one of those, that's one of those factories from Naz game, right? From the, from the default map? I think it is. All right, let's um, go ahead and scrap that. Give me this. Put this here. Give us our bow, just in case we need to range some fools. Okay. The one good thing about the trader, though, is I've what I found so far is the traders that I've seen have had a chemistry station, a forge, and a workbench in them. So like early on, if you need to access some of that stuff, maybe you find a schematic in a pile of trash and you want to you want to build something, you can before you before you can actually make make the stuff for yourself. Pretty handy. I think it's uh, by default that they do that because some of the stuff, you know, obviously requires that you have a workbench or chemistry station or forge to get it so maybe you're, you're lucky enough to find that schematic but you're like now what do i do i'll never be able to make this thing we're gonna need we're gonna need a, a fair amount of wood but i feel better already that i'm in the green area one i think the snakes oh wow that, it ran so good before now it's re, it's kind of back to its traditional non-optimized and when i'm talking about before i'm talking oh my god i did not hear that guy i'm talking about um when this when this first came out i think it was build 111 we're at 113 now it was really good it was really good i thought so i mean on my system it was maybe not for everybody but find yourself please don't be a derelict town please just stay green that would be awesome that'd be an awesome start that would be like the payoff for having to restart four times after glitcho changeo, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So the other thing you could do, I don't know if I said it in this or another video, so if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. Since you can't make, say, 10 axes, 
through the night to imp improve it. You can, however, make 10 axes, go to the trader, and combine them in the workbench for an increase. Now, at the level they're at now, you're, you're not gonna, it's not worth it. If you get maybe one or two points into your weapon smithing and or your tool smithing, then it might be worth it. Might be worth it, you know? You could probably rank it up to a yellow with pretty quick. Um, but just remember, as you make that one, that dude's that dude's pretty uh pretty confident about continually tracking me, isn't he? I need this wood though. Take that hard hat off you, son. I'll take that hard hat off you if you want to give it up. Oh, all of a sudden you're stunned and you're gonna hit me back. Okay, I've got no stamina. Try this. This is why these are good. To get your stamina, instant stamina boost. So I'm finish this tree. You have consumed enough to slowly heal. Thank you. There's a tear in my dear, cause I'm crying over here. Gonna walk around that tree or what? Hmm? Walking around. Oh, oh, ah, you knew he was about to die. He took the pause mode. Oh, nice. Okay, so two short iron pipes is all you need to make your workbench. You don't need to unlock the workbench, I don't think. So you need to get leather. Now, leather's pretty easy to find if you just go into a house and break those chairs down. One of the hotels, one of the, like, the office building lobbies. Break those, the fancy leather chairs down. You can have it pretty quick. All right, it's 1447. We should start Look at That's a military base right there, dudes. <gasps> like one of the good ones with the stone walls. I want to live in there. I want to live in there. Do you think that would be good or smart to do that right off the bat? Oh, there, there's fours. There's at least, at least, there's one. Oh, that one just disappeared off the floor. I, apparently that garage is pretty popular with the zombies. With the zombies. Wow, I'm getting I'm getting a lot. Whoa, nice. We got some scrap boot schematic. That's pretty good. Again, make sure you search all the trash. You're going to find like schematics and different stuff in everywhere. Got Clunky Oil Company right there. We got Junkyard the standard factory is that two of these there is the right there is a that's a military base and that's a military base not the tent city ones the actual concrete wall bases there's two bases in this town now i don't think i'm pretty sure there's no mines around these bases i don't think there's mines around these only the tent ones that's um Okay, they're right there. They changed the pigs. They're now those javelina looking warthog dudes. And they're vicious. They're vicious. They attack. They attack and yeah, uh, don't don't tangle with them right away. Wow, the yeah. I was gonna say. So Ostrich Hotel on the roof used to be good. Outside on the roof, not good anymore with the vultures. They will come get you. They will come get you. So nice. We got some water, extra water. Want to kill zombies whenever you can? Help get that player rank. Oops. Help get that player rank up. So when you do have your skill points, you can actually use them. Use them to buy what you want. All right. So if we look here, we should have. We have five skill points. Should go straight in for weapon smithing. Get our weapon, start getting our weapons up. It's kind of hard to kill these zombies. We got to be able to kill them as quick as we can because they reside inside. I'm out of arrows. Okay, they reside inside places now. So, all right, she's dead. So, not, I mean, yeah, I'm fighting them on the street right now, but when you go inside to try and like open up a, you're going to find them in there and you're going to want to clear them out quick so you can do, you know, your search, your recon of that particular place I'm trying to think possibly go in there 
for the night. That is a like a headquarters building for crack a book. <laughs> I thought it was a giant library. I thought it was a giant crack a book, but it's like totally their corporate offices. But there is there's some bookshelves in there, but nothing like you would expect. Like you wouldn't think that, oh my gosh, this place is gonna be stacked. Nice. Got that. We definitely need duct tape. I got some glue. Glue. We can if we go in there, we can attack their furniture. Man, I don't know how I don't know how good that military. I've always wanted to do that though. I always wanted to build one of those, but they were those bases, the concrete bases, were always way out in the middle of nowhere. There's two of them in the center of town here. I'm gonna do it. What is that over there? There's something cool looking over here. Is that just a house? It's interesting looking building. Can I make some more arrows? It's an interesting looking building. Can't make out exactly what it is. All right, world headquarters, crack a book, please. How are we doing on wood? All right, so we're gonna need, I'm gonna need to make some wood frames, at least 22 of them. That way we can kind of close ourselves in for the night if we need to. Um. The only problem is I'm gonna have to like work my way through. They'll definitely, this place will be full of zombies. Sleeping zombies. You can sneak attack them too. The sneak attack works really good. If there's things I'm forgetting, I, I had a lot of good things planned to tell you guys, but after having to restart multiple times, I don't, I've said them. I don't know if I've said them now. So as we go through it, I'll, I'll tell you guys what I've found so far. Again, we're only a week into this with a lot of changes and there may they may, because this is still experimental, they may make some changes, like change it back from what this or change it back from that. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's a good find. Okay. okay, so this door is is unlocked. I found that this door was unlocked before everything else is locked. Now nah, it's really quiet in here, but there's gonna be sleeping zombies everywhere. All right, we're good. We're doing really well on water right now. We're doing really good on water. I like that. So there's one. So if you sneak up on him, you can get the, the double damage. I get stunned for days. So I'm not 100% sure this is the best place to go, honestly. Because there's, as you go up, there's a lot of them in there. Let's see. There could be some coffee and food in the old Arbucks. It's an Arbucks. So to get up, you could go second level here. Then you gotta go to the opposite corner over there and there's a staircase. Oh, it's the lady. What the? Oh, shoot. Okay. That's one of the problems right there. No sound, she spawned in front of me. She wasn't there, she spawned in front of me, you guys. So a lot of these buildings, you gotta expect that they're gonna be, that's why I was looking around when I first came in. Um, you got to expect that they're going to be there. And if you don't see them, they're probably going to spawn in on you. And I don't think that they meant for that, for it to be that way. I was going to try and sneak attack that cheerleader like that. But that other one spawned in on me, almost killed me, almost killed me. I'm going to try and eat to get some of this health back because bandage wise, yeah, I just don't think that this is going to be a, a good place to um, to lay up for the night. Possibly the hotel. Just not go all the way upstairs. Maybe go like the penthouse or something. You got to remember, you got to be able to clear, clear it out. You got to be able to clear the thing out. It's super dangerous. Super duper dangerous. We're getting low on time here. See where we're at with our stuff. We have we need more stone. 
okay on wood. I'm gonna, I know I'm just going to scrap this in my inventory. I need the space. I'm going to keep this glass jar just in case. Scrap that. Wow. <laughs> Dude, you guys, the... They really, they really, they really broke something when they did the bug fixes, because it was, it's really bad. And it's worse than Alpha 15 right now. Please don't tell me that this is an Alpha. This experimental. Listen, this game's been out for four years and it's been, was working pretty good when they first released this Alpha 16 experimental. It was optimized well. It was doing very good. Now that's on my system. It may not have been like that for everybody. My system. If the game is there, it will run good. If the game is not there, it won't run good on anybody's system. If the game is there, your system may not be able to run it. You see what I'm saying? There's few things, but it all entails the game has got to be there. And the game was there on release a week ago. But they tried to do some like quick bug fixes. And in doing that, they've broken some other things. So kind of sucks. Hopefully, hopefully get squared out. I... I Jeez, when they do make noise, they sound like they're right next to you and they're not. You gonna help me hit this rock, lady? Lady! Okay, my health did not heal at all from that chili, did it? Not hungry. Did not heal at all from that chili. That is a hit! Oh my gosh. Okay, 1921. Oh, do I chance the hotel? Because I definitely want to go there. I think I just should chance the hotel. Hopefully it's not packed chock-a-block full of people in here. Let's go up. Let's just go up. One. Two. Three. Oh, shoot. There's one. Four. He just woke up. All right, four floors is the top. Let's see if I broke his tracking on me. Okay, so crouching definitely does. This could be a place I could escape out to here, then jump to my death. Oh, it sounds like they're coming. They could be in here for all I know. I think this should give me some wood, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right. Put this up. All right. Hey, righty then. Hopefully there's... This might get, yeah, okay, so we're going to get some leather from in here, which is really good. Really good. You get that, you chop up all these things, you get that leather, and before you know it, you ha actually have a forge pretty early on. Like, I think I was able to get a forge, I don't know, day, before day, by day three at least, something like that, which is pretty good because you, you get into... Better, you know, better weapons, better, better stuff. I don't focus on the iron, the iron pickaxe or any of that yet. I focus on melee weapons and stuff because everything's pretty, pretty difficult to get going on this. Clear this joint out. Do I have any food in my inventory that's going to make them come a running? Maybe the corn. Does the corn have a sniff? I don't think it does. I'm going to put it in here anyway. All right. I'm up pretty high. I don't think that the light going out those windows will attract them from down on the ground. So I'm not going to waste my wood doing that. I'm going to chop this stuff up. I'm going to chill in here. I'm going to, you know, gather the resources that I can inside here. And then we'll see where we stand on the beginning of day two 
I really want to make that military base my place. So let me, um, I'm going to stop chomping for a second. I'm going to talk to you guys before we take off on this video. Okay, so again, I had, I had multiple problems trying to get this series started, even though I've live streamed this and Guns and I are playing on the server. But we were playing build 112, not 113. Also 111. I think one. I think it's been updated twice already. Not 100% sure. It was running better before. Fingers crossed that they're going to get it ironed out pretty quick. Hopefully it goes into Alpha 16 release and we just get to play, right? Because there's a lot of cool things in here that I think is going to make this series a lot of fun if it's not all bugaboo. But right now it's running pretty choppy. It's running pretty choppy even though, like I said, I want to make sure you guys understand... The optimization that they did on, on experimental release was pretty good. I felt that it was pretty good. If you were there at the live stream, you know that. I've even said it on our server. Wow, this is pretty good. Not so much now. But it might be single player. It might still be okay. Guns and I just played the other day on the server, and it, it was pretty good. Pretty good. Anyway, guys, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys are running into any issues or not, but we're going to have some fun. We're going to play through this bad boy. We're going to kill ourselves some zombies. I'll see you guys next episode.